hi guys this is maggie welcome to my youtube channel thank you so very much for everyone who have subscribed those who are yet to subscribe kindly do subscribe we get to learn together and share more ideas uh today we're going to learn how to make a fascinator such a fascinator this is what we're going to learn so to make such a fascinator to begin with uh i need my thread and needle which i'll put aside i need a pair of fabric ankara so with this this is what we are going to use today and uh, for for learning purposes i'll show you what we need uh we need to make some circular patterns on the on the fabric so i'm using my masking tape to do my measure so I'll measure a circle on the fabric like that. This I'm using a masking tape to make them standard. So using my scissor, I'll cut this piece of fabric. A fascinator will be made up of it's an Ankara fascinator so just keep watching so we get to learn together it's pretty simple and uh, the steps are easy to follow like that you just get here to make it firm that so I'll put that aside I have one piece here I'd already cut the others and ironed you can either iron them or not iron them it depends with what you want so you can start I'm not going to be using all of them I need at least five pieces so let me pick the ones I want to use I think these ones are okay i need five pieces so i'll take one piece of the fabric like this fold it into half then into quarters like that half then quarters Then I'll take my thread and needle. So I'll stitch on the edges here. Begins to stitch on the edges around here. So I'll begin just simple stitches, running stitches. These helping us to make petals because we're going to gather the fabric together like that you've made the first petal so on to our second petal same process just simple stitches along the edge after you folded into four our second petal ensure you all your circles are the same so that the petals are of the same size if you use two different sizes of circles the petals will be different sizes 
so it, it's important to maintain the same size repeat the same process it's called running stitches for those of us who did home science yeah or home economics you understand this type kind of stitch it helps to gather fabric together done with three petals you can do the fourth fold into two like that then into quarter like that then you make your stitches along the edge Be a little careful with your thread, otherwise, otherwise you might mess up. Just gather them together like that. You'll see the outcome after the fifth one. For now, we may not be able to see much, but after you've completed the f the last one, you'll be able to see what exactly you're making. Fold into two, then into four pieces, then make some stitches at the edge. My hands are sweating. <laughs> is our last petal you're making so let me continue pull the thread together for you to be able to gather all of them together this is what we're looking for you can stitch at the beginning that you'll be able to gather all of them the five of them together what you're looking for ensure they are well held together just make a few stitches there Just to ensure they are together as you pull your thread.
Now using our scissors, we can cut the extra thread after making a knot, just to be sure that they're all in the same. Can cut the thread. There goes our flower. So we're going to continue to the next step. You realize there is uh, this hole in between here. You're going to cover that hole. So for that we need our thread again a needle. And this button, it says it's orange like that. So I'll take a piece of a piece of uh, this. I want it to my button color to remain visible, so that's why I'm putting it here. I'm covering it with this, like that. I'm supposed to cover it there, so that at least the color is still visible and you can still see, you know, this green. So. can either decide to fold my my net into two and still do the same here like that you see so for me to be able to do exactly hold it together I need my thread I need you which I'll need uh, again this to help me hold the button together onto the net. You can see the color of the button is still visible and as well it complements the color of the flower and I can cut my thread and I'll put this here So here using my glue can put a little inside there. And this other side to knit the two together. There you go. So we are on our last step. We are on our last step. So what we're going to do is told you we're doing something like this, so we need this. So I'll take my thread again and make a knot at the end. 
because we need to gather our net. This fabric here, they don't know how for me call it a net. Okay, so I have it here, it's the same color with this. So I want to make gathers all here, all around it. So I'll take my thread and needle and begin to gather it. make it's folded into two it's folded into two so i'll make stitches at one side this purposely to gather it together because it's quite a long one it's about uh, 50 centimeters long so i'll make the running stitches at the end to gather it together so that it can be the base of our fascinator so this is going to act as the base of our fascinator so make the Gathers using the same same kind of stitches, the running stitches as I told you, they're easy to make. Just stitch. one after the other that's why they're called burning because they're not on the same point they're not near each other they're not like back stitches their main purpose is gathering Running stitches. So come and stitch at the beginning, or rather, the join the thread together and pull. So I'll make a few stitches behind here to hold the thread together. There we go. That forms the base of our that forms
front base of our fascinator so it's going to sit here so I want to put some glue here flower there hold it well so that they attach to each other there we go so you could have put a clip here but uh, my client doesn't want a clip she wants a strap so that she's able to put it on her hair so this is what you're going to use this one here so we're going to put it going to attach it here like that so we're going to put some glue in there come and add my elastic strap there then I'll take one piece of the fabric we have or I can make a, another one just want a simple a simple let me put more so that it holds well go then I would make a circular make a circle a small circle I want everything to be the same color so I'll add some glue on top of this around here. That. Then I'll take my fabric there and cover it like that. There we go. This is our final product. Our fascinator with the strap. And with that, my client is a happy client because they'll be accessorized with those very nice earrings. I hope you like the process. I ask you to kindly subscribe to my channel, those who have subscribed, Asanteni Sana, those who have subscribed, may God bless you and may you continue doing this. Share, share, share out my videos with friends and uh, those, if you want to be notified when I make a video, press the bell, notification bell and definitely you'll get notified when I make another video. Asante Sana and may God bless you. See you next time see you next time when we get to do another video there we are our final product the fascinator this is a fascinator and the earrings thank you so much and may god bless you